Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Wyoming Blessed with Tish and if you haven't done so already please like, comment, subscribe, hit that notification bell so you'll be notified when a video is uploaded. We went blue again today and I forgot to grab my little palettes. I'll put them in my community tab so check my community tab but I got these palettes from BH Cosmetics. Oh, I love them. It's like Galaxy, Aurora Lights, Solar or something. Y'all, I love them and they were not that expensive. So today we have, I don't know if y'all can see it. So let's put it up so you can see it. We have Blue Crab. We have Head on Tramp from Mexico. And we have some Cajun Turkey Sausage. We got rice. We got cucumbers. This is in the Bee Loves Smackalicious Sauce. So I did a quick one. And doesn't it look delicious? It does, doesn't it? And today to drink, we have Dad's Red Cream Soda. And y'all, I tried to get that butterscotch soda again. They were all out. So I grabbed this one. So let's get started. I had to make some rice for the pub because his belly's upset again. Nothing won't stop eating stuff he's not supposed to. Mm-hmm. And these are the cucumbers from my yard. Mm. Not from my yard, you know, my garden. Mmm. So. It is good to know me Sunday. Right? But we had trivia Friday. Nobody got the full correct answer. So. The answer is. What. Or the question was. What um, vegetables do I have in my garden? What do I have in my garden? And the answer to that is I have three very huge tomato plants that are taking over the garden. I had three heads of lettuce. The earwigs got to two of them. You know, I have two pepper plants. I know one's a jalapeno. I'm not sure what the other one is. I think it's those little um, chilies. And then I have a very huge cucumber plant that's actually vining up the side of my garden. It's so big. And we have a couple um, carrots that are trying to grow, but the cucumbers are having their own little party over there. So I'm not sure if they're going to allow the carrots to grow, honestly. I forgot to bring anything. I'll just use this little bowl to put my seafood in. I have a little bowl, so it's fine. So, what y'all do to th this weekend? Um, I have started following a couple, as many as I know, on Instagram of you guys. Of my lovely subscribers. I like to get to know you guys. See your lives. Your families. I mean you all have beautiful families. And you know. Just like what you're doing. And what not. Mm. I wanted, yes, my hands are clean. The good old Be Loves sauce. I did bring some wipes. Because, y'all, we know it gets messy. Oh, I got it all over my shirt already. Oh, my goodness. Whatever. I need to get those 
Fried Spot Cleaners. <laughs> and just put them back here. So that during a video, whenever I make a mess, we can clean it up. <laughs> it happens, y'all. That's why I try and eat, like, closer. Mm. I do get what's in the head because it's delicious. Very flavorful. Let's do another. You get these little things from them though. Another sausage. I love this Johnsonville Cajun turkey sausage. It's so good. And we got mm, go back down to Utah next week. Mm hmm. For my, my son has an appointment with a neurologist. So we're going to stop at Costco. And I'm going to see if I can get, like, a bigger pack of them. There's a bunch of stuff we'll probably buy at Costco. Because we found out there's a bunch of stuff cheaper at Costco. <laughs> I was trying to find a little crab. Just a little. There's some a claw. You gotta wash these blue crabs though. The ones I get anyways. They are sharp. Sharp, sharp. And they'll cut ya. I should have brought um, scissors, but it, of course I forgot. That's okay because blue crabs are pretty, pretty thin. Shelled. I can't get it out. See? Mmm. And blue crab tastes amazing. I'm gonna tell y'all. It tastes so good. It's sweet. I'm gonna say, where'd that go? Excuse me. I guess. I love to put it in like ramen or a hot pot. Uh-huh. <laughs> so, are any of you all kids starting school next week? I know a lot of um, you yeah, in different states, you got all are doing virtual. And they are not doing virtual here, so. Well, you, I mean they are. You have the choice. To do virtual or in in school. Me personally, I would opt for. You know what? I'm gonna pull a Kim time move. If you've never seen her do this, she takes the claw on like snow crab. I've seen Casey Connections do it too, and gets the meat out. And it works, yeah. You just... Mmm. And claw meat on any crab is amazing. I've seen it fall, y'all. Mmm. What's that? Really, any garage sales today? There's a huge fundraiser going on for a family around here. Unfortunately, she lost her husband and her son out at um, a waterway that we have around here called the Gorge. Prayers with y'all, and uh, so they're doing a huge fundraiser, like auction thing, for them. There we go. 
And there's football going on. The kids are playing football. So Heather's at her son's football game. Go Lonnie. Mm. I just bite down on the knuckles. Because mm. the meat comes out that way. It like squeezes out most of the time. Sometimes. Sometimes it won't. But y'all, I am no blue crab pro. I am new to blue crab. And I don't know if these are different, but they're not quite as soft as some of the others I see. Mm. Mm. Y'all, that's good. So yeah, there's that going on. There's, like I said, the football that the kids are playing. I know y'all are like, don't lick your hands. It's a habit. I had another, okay, there we go. It's like, I know I brought three of these because it gets so messy. I don't know what that is. It's a little fly, like a little fruit fly. Fruit, fruit flies are annoying. And it's that time of year where they get a little more prominent. And, um, I just had, like, flies are crazy right now. They're driving me nuts. We had some in the house yesterday that they just kept on wanting to land on everybody. And my dog hates them. So it was really making him mad. My pup. We even switched him to better food. We were, we're doing that blue buffalo, which is expensive, y'all. It's sixty dollars a bag, and I'm gonna call the vet on Monday and see. They can't figure out why he keeps having potty problems. He is great Dane breed. And I know that they have problems usually with their tummies, but he's Labradine too. So I was hoping it wouldn't be so prominent, but it is. Oh, y'all know that my nose is having the worst year it's ever had. These allergies this year, I don't know, are allergies higher where you all are? Cause I feel like they're way more like heightened this year here than other years. Where'd that go? We're gonna do the same thing here. And I, uh, I take Claritin it every day. And some days I'm fine, and then other days I'm not. And it is supposed to be super hot this week. Like 90 degrees. Which is hot for us. I seen it, y'all. It almost went. And I'm like, ugh. <laughs> It sucks going back to school when it's that hot. Some of the schools don't have like air conditioning and stuff. They may all now, but they didn't before. I 
and it's just hard to keep a school. Like the newer schools are fine. But them older ones, which we have a lot of around here, it's hard to keep them cool. I'm trying to get these little sharp bits off. These ones seem to be really sharp. compared to the ones I see other people eating. So I'm just like, I don't know if these are different or what. See? Get these little sharp pits. Mmm. And some people can get the like the little lollipops. I never can. So I don't bother trying. I am prominently right-handed, y'all. So I'm sorry that I keep reaching over there. We'll set it right there. I can write with my left hand, but my prominent hand is my right. But I can write with my left hand. I can use both. But if somebody asked me, I'd be like, I'm definitely right handed. like a good one right here. And there's like, I don't know. Go away. Whatever you are. I'm gonna pull. Well, I was gonna pull that piece off. <laughs> mm, it's so good. I ordered some more shirts too. So we're not wearing the same one all the time. Or same ones. Um, I got them off a of wish, but good lord. It's going to take forever for them to get here. Where is it? There it is. <laughs> Whatever that is. I just landed on my phone. Which is what I use to record if y'all didn't know that. iPhone 11. Uh-huh. See, and he won't go away. He's attracted to the red on it. I'm watching him. It's crazy. Freaking bugs. <laughs> He's like, I see red. There we go. So if y'all see something come across the lens, it's this little thing, whatever he is. Looks like a fruit fly, but he's a little big for a fruit fly. And I can't stand bugs. Hopefully it doesn't take me so long to get this video uploaded. Is that one the other day? The panzanella salad. Y'all, that took, what, 14 hours? Mm-mm. 
It was longer than that. I was like, what in the world? He's driving me nuts. I'm trying to... Mm. Something sharp in that one. <laughs> right there. Of course. Mmm, blue crab is so good. But it's work. If y'all don't want to work for your crab, blue crab ain't for you. Because it is work. Y'all, I'm a mess. <laughs> I need a new one. Because I am messy. After that, I'm gonna shush him away. Go away. He's like, I'm just gonna go back there. <sighs> Stupid bugs. And there ain't a mosquito, so. I hate mosquitoes. <coughs> As I choke on camera, like seriously, I can't breathe out of my nose because it's so messed up. Ooh, look at this one. Lots of sauce on it. Look at that. I'm gonna get a little bit off because that's a lot. Mmm. If y'all haven't ordered the Be Love sauce mix, seasoning mix. Which some of you ask how I make it. I told you right on the back of the package. I do use Coke in mine. And um, if I want it spicy, I add some of the... Um, I get the mild, by the way. I add some of the fire noodle sauce. Oh, it's so good. I've had flavors by Dame Dash, which his is really good too. I really like his. Um, I've had Be Loves. I made um, Tan Luz. It's good too. I've made Steph and Tasha's. It's good too. They're all different. I need to find. Um, Eat with E. Eat, eat with E. I use sauce and um, it's Wani's sauce. She just released hers. I need to try them both. And I want to try that sauce that Tim, uh, Kim Tai. It was Kim has been trying because it looks yummy. If any of y'all have tried any of those, let me know. Mm hmm. I've made a lot. I want to try everybody. And if you're going to dip in just butter, y'all, you got to make sure that it is carry gold. Because it tastes so different. So, get to know me Sunday. What's a good fact? So, 
I didn't, y'all know that I went to school to be a chef. But I also did schooling to become um, trained to work with special ed kids in the school district. And y'all, that was my favorite. Hands down, my favorite job. I always want to have a line of work that is, <coughs> excuse me, garlic went down my throat, uh, a job that, I always want to have a job that makes a difference in somebody's life, even if it's one person. I want to make a difference for someone. You know, um, like I've said before, as a family, we've been through a lot. And I would always encourage anyone to speak up and speak out. If something has happened to you, adult, child, adult now when you were a child, because it helps, believe me. But, you know... For me, making a difference in someone's life, there's nothing more rewarding. Nothing. Or putting a smile on someone's face, which is my goal, um, per se, with this channel. Yeah, we eat food, but we talk. We hang out. And my goal is to make a difference in someone's life or make somebody feel better, even if it's for a day. Um, you know, because life is hard. And I don't want anybody to ever feel like they don't have somebody. You know? Adult, child, again. Because even as a, adults, we have that feeling. But... So, I absolutely loved that job. That was my most favorite job. But I had to leave it to take care of my own child because of the brain tumor that he had. And he, he has a hard time sometimes in life. He's angry, which anytime you go in and you mess with somebody's brain, whether it's a little or a lot, it's going to mess with them. When you're a 10 year old child, because he was 10, it was right before, we're coming up on two years since it happened. Um, you know, he was angry. Oh gosh. And we still have some anger issues with it and other things that happened to him in his life and So I still work. I just don't work full time. But man, I would love to go back to the school district once all this virus stuff has calmed down. I wouldn't do it right now because I don't want to put my child at risk. You know what I'm saying? There's the sausage stuck inside of the crab. Mm. It's yummy. I don't think I have <coughs> any more sausage. Y'all, I'm having a hard time like getting stuff done. I don't know if it's because my nose is so clogged. But you know, just like when you get, as we call them now, the Karens, which I don't really like calling them that because I have a wonderful friend named Karen, but that's what they are is Karens on like TikTok or anywhere, any social media. You know, when you get those, it's like, what would I ever do? How would I ever live without your knowledge and your advice? 
Like, I don't know how I've made it 34 years. <laughs> Any of y'all ever feel like that? Not even on social media, but in life. People that want to tell you how you should do things. Or whatnot. It's like, however did I make it this long? Without you. <laughs> That's how I feel. I'm gonna have Coda come catch these little things and figure out what they are. He will too. He's like the bug whisperer. It's cool. <laughs> and he'll figure out what it is. He loves rocks and bugs. And his birthday's coming up next month three days after mine y'all and uh I'm like ah uh, what do you get a kid that's gonna turn 13 that you don't really want to get them toys and their interest is rocks and bugs and science stuff I truly believe he will become an engineer I do he can build the craziest stuff out of Legos. Like, not crazy bad, like cool. And he amazes people. <laughs> You're like, you really built that? I mean, working stuff. So I, I think he's going to be, grow up and be an engineer, which would be so cool. You know, our only goal as parents is for our children to succeed in life. That's my goal as a parent. And most parents I know that's their goal. Oh, I'm going to give a shout out to Aiden, which is Navy wife's Lori, her son. I get to watch she posts all kinds of pictures and stuff. I love it. I'm like, look. Mm. I know Cora Baby is hunting right now and has been. They were elk hunting. If I was to eat a wild game, I know I'm making a mess. It would be elk. I don't like any others grew up eating it y'all. I can say that. Oh I dropped my my thing. I have dropped stuff all over. My pup's gonna be back here like crab. <laughs> oh, all right y'all. We're gonna call that good for today because I am full. I've cut my finger. I have successfully gotten everything all over my clothes. Good day in mukbang time, right? Anyways, I want to thank you all for joining me. I hope that you all have a fantastic week. I will see you back here on Ghost Story Wednesday. And we have a subscriber's ghost story. So, as always, stay warm and stay blessed, y'all. Bye, y'all.